Hello everybody and welcome to Haifa CRF training. My name is Gadi Shiftan. I am Haifa CRF marketing and development agronomist. I'd like to welcome you today to the first chapter, what is CRF? When we come to speak about the world of fertilizer, we have the commodity fertilizer, entry level, commonly used all around the world. On top of that, we have the specialty fertilizer. It's a segment where Haifa is one of the world leaders. And on top, we have the controlled release fertilizer. It's on top because this type of fertilizer comes also with a technology. And today we will explore this technology. The idea behind controlled release fertilizer is to deliver a available plant nutrient continuously over time at predetermined rate. With a single application of controlled release fertilizer, we can fill the crop nutritional requirements for the whole growth season. As we can see in this illustration, illustration here, we have through application of the commodity fertilizer and a single application of controlled release fertilizer for the whole season. During the production process, fertilized granule consists of soluble nutrients is encapsulated in a polymeric shell coating. This, coat, this shell coating is very thin, as you can see here in this uh, electron microscope image, imaging of coated NPK granule. This is the actual NPK granule. This is the coating. It's roughly 25 micrometers, as you can see here. But you have to remember, for longer longevities, we will have thicker coating. This is the only way to achieve an effective controlled release fertilizer. There are four stages of the release mechanism, and we will see them now. So on the first stage, we have the capsule sits in the soil or in the pot. And now with the first rain or irrigation, water begins to penetrate to the coating into the capsule and dissolve the nutrient inside. This is the lag stage. It can take a few days, depending on the thickness of the coating. On the second stage, we still have water penetrate into the capsule. But now we have also diffusion of nutrients through the coating into the soil. And further dissolution of nutrient inside the, the capsule. At this stage, the release rate is constant. It can also be described by the second thick law, the diffusion equation. So we won't go too deep into the mathematics here, but what I want to show you is the important stuff. So here we have the D, the diffusion coefficient and we can look on, on the equation of the of the d so you have the temperature here and you may notice that this is the only variable part on, in this equation so it comes to explain how important the role of temperature and what is the effect of the temperature on the release on the release rate on the third stage we still have water penetrates into the capsule we still have diffusion of nutrients through the capsule into the soil but now there's a complete dissolution of nutrient inside the capsule. At this stage, the release rate decays. What's really happening is that the concentration gradient between the inner part of the capsule and the, and the soil is slowly declining. At the first, at the third stage, after the release is complete, the cotton will degrade gradually. So let's have a look on the whole process. So we have the lag stage the linear release stage, and the decay, and of course the empty shell at the end. Now, if you will open a capsule at this stage, you will find a granulated material inside, surrounded by water with dissolved nutrients. If you will open it on the later stage of the linear release, you will find smaller portion of granulated material. And of course on the decay stage, it will be without any granulated material anymore, and at the end it will be pure water. So what control the release? The first condition is moisture. To allow a steady release, the granule must be in moist environment. Normally, above 40% moisture of uh, soil or medium. The, the, the fertilizer granule should be incorporated into the soil. And we, have, we will have a different session for the, for the application method, but it's important that you will be surrounded by the medium, by the so soil. The actual release rate is governed by the soil temperature and it's, the f it's what's determined the, the diffusion rate. So as you can see here, when the temperature is high, we will have shorter longevities. When the temperature goes down, the release rate will be lower. And this is why we have a small reminder for the equation. 
Now you should know that plant nutri nutritional requirements and grow rates also depend on, on, on temperature in a similar manner. So when the temperature goes up, plant needs also goes up and, and, and the requirement, requirements are higher. But also, control the least fertilizer is releasing much faster now. So we have a perfect correlation which makes the CRF very, very efficient. Okay, it's very important. When we speak of, about longevity, we in Haifa, we talk about 21 Celsius degree, which is also 70 Fahrenheit. In this, uh, let's have a, a small example to, to, to explain it. We have eight months product. It's eight months under 21 Celsius degrees. But when temperature will go down, we will have longer longevity, nine to 10 months. And if temperature will be higher, such as 30 Celsius degree, the longevity will be shorter, as you can see here. What's not affecting the release is microbial activity, soil pH, organic matter, and water. When I say water and these contents, I mean to access of water, such as flood irrigation. To summarize, we have precise nutrition, very, very efficient, according to the plant needs, as we've seen before, with good correlation of the, of the plant needs. It's obtained by polymeric coating, which makes it a real controlled release fertilizer. With a specific longevity that we can choose how to use and how to have the, the best effective um, blend or, or, or uh, formula. And it, of course, depends by depending on the temp temperature. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next CRF session.